to the InfoWars Nightly News. It is August 2nd, 2013, and I'm your host, Leanne McAdoo. Here's a look at our top stories. Tonight, just how far was the CIA during the Benghazi attacks? Then, DARPA plans genetically modified humans by adding a 47 chromosome. And Arkansas schools pass on duck and cover, choose stand and deliver instead. All that and more coming up on the InfoWars Nightly News. Boom, 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 boom. Give me the proof of the shot man. Tonight's top story. The mainstream media finally gets it right. Turns out the CIA was smuggling arms in Benghazi when the consulate was burned down. Sources now tell CNN that dozens of people working for the CIA were on the ground that night and that the agency is going to great lengths to make sure whatever it was doing remains a secret. Now, according to a source with deep inside knowledge of the agency's workings, the CIA operatives that were involved in the agency's missions in Libya have been subjected to frequent, even monthly, polygraph examinations. The goal of the questioning is to find out if anyone is talking to the media or Congress. A former CIA operative told CNN, agency employees typically are polygraphed every three to four years, never more than that. In other words, the rate of the kind of polygraphs alleged by sources is rare. CIA spokesman Dean Boyd asserted that CIA employees, they're always free to speak to Congress if they want to. Yeah, more like if they want to lose their jobs. Now, among the many secrets that are still yet to be told about the Benghazi is just how many Americans were there that night. CNN says that number was 35 with as many as seven wounded, some of them seriously. Now, lawmakers also want to know about the weapons that were in Libya and what happened to them. Speculation on Capitol Hill has included the possibility that U.S. agencies operating in Benghazi were secretly helping to move surface-to-air missiles out of Libya, through Turkey, and into the hands of Syrian rebels. Man, this story sounds so familiar. It seems like we've been telling you this for almost a year now. I think we have, actually. Take a look at this article on Infowars.com from November of last year. Why did CIA Director Petraeus suddenly resign? And why was the U.S. ambassador to Libya murdered? Now, we covered how the State Department never requested backup or how Obama was pretty much watching everything that was going on in Libya via a live drone that was hovering above the consulate at the time. But the red flag that we really pointed out was that many Syrian terrorists come from Libya. And the U.S. supported opposition, which overthrew Libya's Gaddafi, it was largely compromised of al-Qaeda terrorists. Now we connected the dots on how Qaddafi was overthrown so the U.S. could arm al-Qaeda. Now Ambassador and that Ambassador Stevens was moving heavy weapons out of Libya and into the hands of Syrian rebels. Now many have speculated that if normal security measures weren't taken to protect the Benghazi consulate or to rescue Ambassador Stevens, it was definitely because the CIA was trying to keep an extremely low profile to protect its cover of being a normal State Department operation. Then CIA boss David Petraeus just resigned five days before he was set to testify under oath about what really happened in Benghazi. He said that he resigned because the affair that he was in disgraced him and it was like a threat to national security. But you know what? Wiener's not pulling out, so having an illicit affair is definitely not going to compromise national security. Petraeus didn't want to testify to the fact that the State Department in Benghazi provided diplomatic cover for the hidden CIA mission of smuggling arms. So this is actually fantastic news for the families that they've been crying out for answers, and now they might finally get them. So you see, Hillary, it does matter. It matters that people died. It matters why they died, how they died. And it also matters what are you covering up? We want to know. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show.